Hey David, let me introduce myself. I'm Peter Van Gelder. I live in Bridgeport, Connecticut, and uh, I am a adjunct professor at the University of Bridgeport, and I teach mass communication. And we have a really interesting program where we do uh, hands-on learning for video production and filmmaking for the students. And I've just recently uh, launched like a collaborative learning environment within the university. Uh, I'm really into that stuff. So. I am uh, very interested in what's happening in New London. There's a lot of correlations between the two cities. Uh, I met Hannah Gant at uh, the Tiny Town event last year. I was introduced through a mutual friend, and I got really excited about what, what was going on there and what you guys are up to. So, uh, you know, I wanted to bring my expertise and bring my uh, mentoring to this uh, project. So I'm actually an um, environmental architect. I have a lot of... Uh, projects uh, around the tri-state area and into Pennsylvania that are similar, that have a lot of the uh, community building components and economic development components. And uh, so I like to be in this uh, space. And also uh, I launched a, a, a new version of my creative agency this year. It was really focused on uh, entrepreneurs and people that were up to really great work to make an impact. Uh, and how I could be a support system for them. So that's really showing up with the work I'm doing with Hannah and Robert. And uh, I'm really interested in the, the uh, activities of TRIP and, uh, you know, want to play a part in this whole process. So that's a little bit about me. And uh, I'm going to be an advisor and a partner in the RD86. So let's take a look at that. All right. Hey, everyone. Just getting ready for the uh, presentation to TRIP on Friday. This is a preliminary presentation that uh, we're, we're putting together. Wanted to go over it with you, Robert and Hannah, to uh, kind of share with Ro share with David and let him know what we're up to. So this is just kind of the first section of our, our investor pitch that talks about what we're up to. And uh, we, we um, kind of tweaked it a little bit so it fits uh, at the trip meeting. So let's get started, as we know. People have been hearing about RD86, which has uh, been created uh, for this new year. And it's really, uh, we wanted to design a business model that really works in alignment with the TRIP initiative and the TRIP goals. So as you can see, we're all about uh, create, learn, and launch. And let's just dig into it, what, what that means and about what we're up to. So here, a little bit about RD86. RD86 is a social enterprise incubator that refines concepts in the food space while preparing entrepreneurs and managers to run and or own the operations that get launched. So you can see there's three components inside of RD86 that we're articulating, which is a creative agency uh, to uh, really develop concepts, our cultivator kitchen, which is a, about preparing entrepreneurs and managers, and then our management group that gets to manage the projects after they're launched. So let's give a little context to this. How did we get here? You know, like this was a process and uh, intentional. So context kind of goes like this for us. This is an evolution. We just want to frame that, that this is not like getting rid of one thing and starting another and being flippant. It's very intentional. So there was some different perspectives on the, uh, on business models that I think needed to be articulated. So, you know, number one, Spark Makerspace had a mission focus of access, creativity, and learning. Very much, uh, you know, known in the Makerspace community. There's uh, obviously a lot of Makerspaces across the country that are thriving and their business models work. Uh, I guess we found that some of the fit was... Uh, not working so there was a, a, a different mission started to be focused up there was a better fit for the trip initiative so we want to be able to cultivate jobs and launch businesses number one and then two leadership strength there was a leadership strength in the makerspace was about creativity community building and practical arts so the spark makerspace was struggling with the identity of this kitchen inside its space and so Hannah Gant reached out to um, Robert Ramsey to come in and bring some advice. So she brought him in. They were able to give a little bit of clarity to uh, what to do with the kitchen. They started experimenting, wanted to tie it into some of the uh, missions and goals of TRIP. And they developed the Cultivator Kitchen together. Uh, didn't 
quite know what to do with that uh, inside the Spark makerspace. So it eventually just took on a life of its own and was, it became a separate entity. So there was basically a, a kind of line in the sand, which was like the, the no kitchen is needed in the makerspace. It actually created a divided focus and it was a little confusing. And so there was this now evolution where uh, through the work of the community and the board, they, they moved the makerspace into another, another space where they could be single focused, focus on their mission. And then we really threw all, uh, all our energy into the food strategy space. You know, this is, food's a rapid revenue builder. It's a strong community builder and there's a steady supply of entrepreneurs and projects. So this was really about, uh, you know, looking at some of some you know, powerful methodologies in the startup space proven called Lean Startup. And we really started rethinking uh, what works and how to be effective. And so even though it's a bit of a rocky road, it's been uh, very intentional. And so let's go into this very specific business model that we've been looking at. So this is really how uh, this team sees how we can exceed, succeed and have a win-win uh, together with Trip and the community. We, so we we're putting together a intentionally designed social enterprise incubator business model. And it really had to be designed. Uh, I know uh, Robert and I have a lot of experience in this area and saw the need for it. And so Robert started putting together this, this overview. So we'll just take a look real quick. Uh, so RD86 is really just a holding company that can create the stability and the LLC for what we're up to and the intentions of the business model. And then under that, we're creating a support system so to achieve those things, operationalize uh, the intentions of the business model of the, of the mission. So it starts with a creative agency. We always wanna run things through concept development and put a team on the creative agency. This is an area I have a lot of experience in. I've been running a creative agency for 25 years so I'm chiming in here. Um, and then uh, we want to be able to also cultivate people, managers, uh, jobs, give people experience in this food space. So the cultivator, I think Hannah will be taking the lead in this space. Uh, and then we have management group, which is to really operationalize the work of the projects. Uh, Robert has tons of experience in this area as an expert. And we uh, see this as a workflow and as a process and a support system that makes it all work. So through this support system, we get to launch new businesses in the area. So there'll be two types of businesses. There's going to be uh, owned businesses by the RD86. So we already have a couple of projects uh, happening there. And then we'll also have partners. So uh, this is gives us the opportunity to not just uh, have to own everything and but we can actually work with the community and uh, bolster up projects that uh, come to us this all adds up to business development which is really the goals of trip we're really creating that win-win uh, model uh, that's going to achieve the goal that we all want so out of this business model you'll see a real focus on the the main items that are relevant for the trip initiative innovation, community and economic development, job creation, and developing entrepreneurs. And, uh, you know, more specifically, we can get into uh, what we're up to. Uh, this is a little bit of a more detailed overview of the model and how it works and some of the projects that are actually happening, some of the classes we're developing some of the contracts we've we've already started working on. You can see we've already got some ownership of some uh, launch companies like the Montec House. We've got a prepared food business. There's some pop-up restaurant events we're designing uh, under the RD86 ownership. And then we're already developing partnerships rapidly. So Connecticut College is very excited in two forms, redesigning their food system uh, over there and also working with students. We've got a taco house client in the area and uh, more are rolling in. So this is all very specific. Uh, so this is an exciting uh, time to uh, kind of reinvent ourselves for two, 2018 and, and really understand this evolution. There's a lot more to talk about 
and we'll share this with Dave, get him on board, get his feedback, and uh, we, can, we can work on this presentation a little bit more, uh, maybe get it uh, even more specific to the goals and needs of TRIP. So I'll catch up with you guys later. Take a look at this. Let me know what you think. And uh, looking forward to Friday.